being in the way of influence. Continue on down in verse 57. It says, And they said, We will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. Very clearly, just, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, her, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate, those which hate them. And so there's the blessing that comes upon her. But you see then that this servant was given and was in the way of influence, and God led him accordingly. Certainly God touched the heart of a woman that, that said simply, I will go. How often does God call out to people in the Bible and said, who will? And the response is, I will go. And we see the hand of God here upon this woman, none doubting. And all she's responding to is everything that we've seen up to this point. We saw the testimony of all that God has done. And I believe she had the same reaction. This thing proceedeth from the Lord. And so she was immediately involved she was influenced by not by his way to manipulate not you know that 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 book how to how to win friends and manipulate i mean influence people <laughs> that type of thing that that's not what happened here it was the testimony of a righteous and holy and powerful god working in this scenario that caused her to say i will go none doubting no doubt no no worry no concern she said i will go with this man even after her mother and her brothers said let's ask her what she thinks and they were probably thinking she might want to stay another 10 days but she's like no i will go reporting for duty reporting for service why because she was influenced and if you're in the way of influence god will lead you his testimony influenced her to follow her to receive blessings down the road he came out and even those closest to her allowed for this to happen only because of his influence through God's influence in his life. And this is why it's so important as us as Christians to be blameless. This is why it's so important for us to be of good report so that when we come into contact with somebody, I mean, if just think of the scenario. You walk up to somebody, you've only known them for 24 hours, and you're like, I'm going to take your daughter with me. Here's a bunch of jewels, right? If you're not blameless, if you're not of good report with them or, that are without, nobody's going to just hand over their daughter. No righteous person anyways. But here, the trust was established. And it wasn't because this servant was some great man. It was because this servant served a wonderful master who represented a wonderful God. And the power was seen in his testimony, being in the way of influence. And we need to be able to influence people. We need people to be able to look into our lives and trust our intentions and trust that we are looking out for them. Trust that we love them. Do people look at you and say, wow, this man really loves me. When you go to a door and when you knock on the door and you try to be in the way of soul winning and you, and you follow some of these steps like you're serving God, you're prepared, you have all your resources, tracks in hand and Bible in the pocket. When you're prayerful before you go, when you're watchful and, and waiting for God to immediately answer those prayers, when you're wondering, saying, is this that miracle that I just asked for? When you're worshiping God, when He brings things to a head and makes it happen. When you receive the blessing and you come to church and you testify of these things and show all these people and all your friends and all, those, all of your lost family members and what have you of the prosperity that God has given you do you influence others by all these things does that cause people to to want to draw nigh unto your God to want to say I will go is that what your testimony has done for people we need a testimony that does that and it all comes by being in the way like we just saw this servant walk this journey of trying to please his master that's all he's trying to do he's just trying to be a humble servant pleasing his master 